Today we're going to talk about one of the most common footwork mistakes we see a lot of players make at almost all levels up to maybe UTR 9 or 10 or NTRP 5.5-ish. Now, uh, what is that mistake? If we're taking a look at how people move, unfortunately a lot of people run to their forehand for example, hit that ball and then take another two steps or so in that direction. Now I understand why, it's because those people are trying to slow down and it's difficult for them to slow down with just one step. So they hit their shot, take another one or two steps, stop and then they move back to the center. Now the problem here is that your recovery is going to be very slow. If we're taking a look at that, let's say you just take one more step. So you hit your shot, now you're done with a shot and you would take another step over here. That one more step this way has to be taken back as well, so that means it's two extra steps for you to take after you hit the shot. So you can imagine how much tougher it is for you to get back into the center if you're pushed off the court a little bit further. Now how do we avoid this? Ideally what we want to do is we want to make sure that we take steps that slow down towards the contact point so we can stop with that last step. If we have to move really far to the side we want to take that last step with our right foot no matter what because we don't have enough time to take another step forward. So we need to make sure our stance is open. Now if I do that and I run really fast and I can stop with one step, with a big step, okay otherwise you're going to twist your ankle. If you take a small step and your body is right above your foot you're going to twist your ankle or fall this way, right? So with a big step you're going to be able to stop, hit the ball with less motion in your lower body which means you're going to control the ball better and you're going to be much quicker at recovering back to the center. Now it doesn't seem like it's much if it's like one or two extra steps but keep in mind we're not talking about shots when you're very close to the center where it's very easy to recover. We're talking about when your opponent challenges you and they push the ball further to the sidelines. Now you need to recover quicker or else you won't be able to cover the other side after. So try to make sure that you take one big step last to stop rather than taking lots of little steps to stop throughout your contact point. Like that, you'll be much more stable and it will be much, be much quicker for you to recover back to the middle. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.